I'm Blondie Bites, and today I'm going to teach you how to use your terminal. So to get started, we are going to open the terminal, and it's also called the command line. So to do this, if you're on a Mac, we can go to Spotlight, Search Terminal, hit Enter, and here it is. We could also go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, and there's our terminal as well. If you're on Windows, you can click the Start button, then go to All Programs, Accessories, and then finally click the Command Prompt. So now that we have the terminal open, we can mess around a bit. Basically, right now, we are in something called our home directory. The home directory is represented with this tilde here. But what exactly is it? Well, if we go into Finder and find our user profile, which can be found if you go to Users and then click whichever one you are, this folder or directory, which is just a fancy term for folder, is your home. And notice I can navigate through these different directories or folders by just clicking them and then the back button. But you can actually do this from the terminal. When you do things from the terminal, you use commands. And so to navigate our folders from the terminal, we can do something called change directory or CD, which is a command for changing directories. So if we do CD and say we want to go into, I don't know, desktop. So we do CD desktop. And notice it's right here. Now to go back to our home directory, we can do CD dot dot. And that'll bring us back to our previous directory. Now, how do we know this actually happened? Well, there's another command we can use called list, which will list everything that's in that folder or directory. So list, which is a command noted by ls, hit enter, it'll list all of the folders or directories in this directory. And so notice we have applications, desktop, everything. But our desktop doesn't really have anything yet right now, so what if we change directory into GitHub, hit enter, then hit ls, we have a lot of stuff here. But is this really true? If we go into GitHub from our finder, all of this stuff is actually here. Now what if we did cd with one dot? Well, it would just bring us back to our current directory, because our current directory is noted with a dot, and our previous directory is noted with the dot dot. Now let's say I want to go into one of these directories. These directories kind of have long names, and usually we don't want to type it all out. So say I want to go into Android development. If I cd and just start typing out Android, and then I hit the tab, we have tab completion. Then we hit enter, and we're in that directory. Tab completion is great for when you want really long names for your folders, but don't want to type them out. Now let's cd dot dot. That'll bring us back to GitHub. And now we want to go back to our home directory, but instead of doing cd dot dot again, we can just do shift exclamation point, exclamation point, hit enter, and notice cd dot dot is run again. Basically, two exclamation points say execute the last command again. Now, we have a lot of stuff on this terminal page, and we want it to go away. We can use this command called clear, and it'll take it all away, and we're starting off in our fresh new terminal window. So to review, we can list things in our folder or directory by going ls. We can change directories by going cd documents or whatever folder we want. We can go back by doing cd dot dot. We can stay in the same by doing cd dot. Say we go into library. We can also print out the entire full path to that working directory by going pwd which means path working directory, and it'll show us exactly how we got there. And to show it again, we could do double exclamation point, hit enter, there it is. And then we can go back, say we wanna go into local but don't wanna type it all out, we can do cd low and then tab complete, hit enter, we're there. And to clear all this up, we can do clear, type it out, or you can do command k. So command k, and there it all is, and your command is still there. So I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, concerns, etc. Bye-bye.